All right, we're gonna look at the uh, Inferno gaming mouse today from Cooler Master. Uh, this is the Storm Inferno, and it's made for MMO RPGers like Eric, who's sitting right over there, not even 15 feet away, and he could probably give you a way better review than I can. But I'm gonna try my best uh, to review this thing. I don't play MMO RPGs uh, because they're really annoying, uh, but apparently this thing has a lot of stuff that's gonna help make them less annoying, like repetitive tasks where you can program these macro keys and these scripts that are gonna kinda do something for you. Eric, can you give me an example of one of these uh, mac, like what's a repetitive task that you hate doing that this mouse would take care of for you? Uh, click, clicking multiple hotkeys. Clicking multiple hotkeys? Yeah, like to do like a buff for an attack and then making the attack. So ah. Three keys into one. Yeah, so doing a buff, a bluff or a buff? buff. A buff for an attack and then actually doing it, you'd have to hit three keys, you can program them all into here. I don't know at all what that means. But uh, I, I understand since I, I'm kind of old, I'm an old school gamer, I, like, I used to play Counter-Strike and uh, it was probably the only game I ever really played. I know that I could, guess I could buy all my guns at the beginning with one button. That would be cool. That I would enjoy. You know, I know exactly what I want. I want an M4, I want some ammo, body armor, um, very sweet, and some grenades, of course. So let's talk a little bit more about this mice. Now, first of all, What's really cool about it is that it's twin laser. So you have twin 2000 DPI lasers on here. Uh, so you have 4000 DPI of overall resolution. And you of course can change the resolution um, by selecting one of these panels and moving your rocker. You also have a little, um, it's kind of like a little gain feature here but that's going to tell you how much resolution you have. So um, if you're giving this to your like 95 year old epileptic grandmother, she's not going to be able to keep up at 4000 DPI. You're going to have to lower it down so she can get a nice smooth action. But if you are like a 12 year old and you're on um, you know, Mountain Dew and you're just going crazy gaming, you're definitely going to want 4000 DPI. I mean, you're going to be like so fast, it's going to be scary. Um, really cool stuff. Now let's talk a little bit about the programmable buttons because there are a whole bunch of them. So let's get nice and tight in here. Um, first thing you'll notice uh, are the macro keys. Um, you have two right here and then your program button. You also have a few extra buttons. So um, you have your right and left right here. These are actually programmable to whatever you want. It's really up to you if you want to change those. Um, they are macro pro keys. You can run scripts and mouse motions or you can run actions on them for any type of repetitive tasks. Um, you also have the rapid fire assault key which you can program. I think um, it starts off here but you can change it using the uh, accompanying software to move it anywhere on the mouse. You have a really nice scroll wheel, um, really comfortable to use. You can also click on it, so that's one more. And it's actually, it's nice, it's flat. You can feel it. You're not gonna make any mistakes, you know, when you're not looking at your mouse. I actually kind of like that. Um, then also, when you come over here, you have three keys on the back. Um, so, you know, obviously when you're inside your browser, you're gonna be going back and forward and you're on the internet. Um, but you can also use these for whatever you want. You can assign keys to these even. You can make this your reload button. Um, and then you have another button back here now. Uh, I haven't figured out 100% yet, but you do have the Storm Tactics multiplier keys. Um, not really 100% sure what that means or what it does, but I'm pretty sure that uh, if you're an MMORPG player, you're gonna figure it out on your own. You could probably kind of come in here, yeah. Oh yeah, nine programmable buttons and 11 keys, macro pro keys. You have a lot of uh, really crazy, crazy features on this thing. Wow, I didn't even read this. There's so much stuff on here that I didn't know about. Max speed of 115 inches per second. Are you serious? I've been out of the game for like, Six months and gaming mice come up that much. Uh, lift off distance is two millimeters, that's kind of important. Um, it doesn't mention the, the, the feet design, um, but they're very smooth and two millimeters is more than enough. Even if you like to use like really weird, fuzzy uh, gaming pads, you know, it's gonna work on your really nice smooth, like a razor pad, or if you have a regular old school uh, mouse pad, it'll work on that as well. What else? Gold plated USB connection, that's pretty nice. Uh, a thousand hertz polling and one MS response time, so that's pretty standard um, for a gaming mouse. That means that uh, it's actually sending a signal through the USB cable to see if the mouse has moved uh, and then so in turn to make the correction onto the software end of it 1,000 times a second. So that's way faster than you. That's way faster than your resp human response time. Um, it's got basically everything you'd really need on it. So it's basic basically it. It's really nice. Um, the price on this um, is kind of leveled for the mid, mid range. It's not too expensive, it's not too cheap. Um, it feels really good. It's got that rubbery surface on the sides that I really like. Um, it does have the braided cable with the gold plated connector. So really, really nice, like it a lot. And uh, the 4000 DPI sensor, well, that's just kind of unheard of. So uh, there you have it. It's the Cooler Master Storm Inferno Gaming Mouse. If you have any questions on it, you can feel free to email me and I'll see you guys next time.
For more information on the Cooler Master Storm Inferno gaming mouse, type in C283-4016 into any major search engine.